Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen, I'm John, this is video True Nerd, and welcome back to Skyrim, literally the moment after we left off, because, uh, well, we're gonna go into there in a second and solve the mystery of, like, a ghost who's controlling, like, sentient ash or something, but there was just a massive fight going on over here, like, loads of, like, flashy explosions and, and stuff, so, I swear I also just saw someone walking away, hello, who was just fighting who up here? Okay, well, whoever it is, they've now decided they want me to die as well. I think it was like, ooh, a cryomancer. Well, la -de da Unfortunately, you're not wearing proper armor, are you? No. No, that's a shame. And also, unfortunately, I happen to be extremely good at the old resisting magic business. Also, will you stop, stop moving around? I think I just hit you there. Right, okay. No, stop it. Just... Okay, seriously, we're gonna have to do this. Alright, fine. You know what? Let's just soul tear you. Right, finally killed the boss after he gave me the runaround briefly. Right, a cryomancer. Holding anything particularly of note? No, he wasn't even... Wow. He's a cryomancer who can't even do his own ice magic. He needs a bloody staff of ice storms to do it for him. Right, I'm assuming he was, like, taking on a pyromancer or something as well. Still, ignore all that. Back round to Fort Frostmouth, where, yeah, 200 years ago, an Imperial captain decided to wage war against the brand new settlers trying to set up Raven Rock. Then the volcano erupted. There it is over there, in fact. And, uh, yeah, it never happened. But apparently, now, 200 years on, he decided to pick it up as a ghost or a zombie or... Something! Let's find out what the heck's going on here. Because when I first stepped in here last part, he spoke to me, suggesting that he's probably just going to be a voice in my ear for this entire mission or so. Any? No, I was hoping for silver ore, but no matter. Right! Let's see what he's got to say now. And so far, nothing. Okay. All quiet. Well, if it's going to be all quiet, let's get the whispers on here. And what we're taking on is... Nothing too bad looking yet. Right. Invisibility. Oh, are you trapped under... You're totally trapped under there. Right, they don't even emerge until they activate. But I can see where they're going to come from. Uh, but this is all fine. They're really cool designs, by the way. I really like the ash spawn. <laughs> they look really cool, but which I mean they look really sinister and disgusting. <laughs> Like, weird open sand wounds. I think they look very, very cool indeed. Now, keep in mind what we're actually here for. All we need to do is pick up a key and then be on our way. Now, actually, let's just check what we're walking into here. Some of them are already up and about. Looks like it's two or so in this room. And then, that guy's just... Okay. And just quickly back into invisible and you're vaguely aware of what's going on but not aware enough and I know there's three in the next room as well fine nice and easy cutting through these lads so far but any chance either of you have got a key just to save me some time also here's interesting so this was clearly a fort but there's also a dug down area they were digging through this also spider webs Okay, chop through some of that. Where does that go? Ah! More down there. Okay. Interesting. Including... Those don't look like normal spiders. Not least as one of them appears to be on fire. What? Well, this is intriguing. Well, let's actually throw in some stuff from a distance here. What am I looking at? These are flame cloaked spiders. And fortunately, oh, they're all sorts of unusual spider. Fortunately, they're all being burnt to a crisp. And don't seem to know quite where I am yet. Ah, would you believe that one's resistant to flame? Yes, that would make sense. Fortunately, they are pretty flimsy. Oh, yeah, you guys are weird. I'm not sure I like you. You're kind of ghosty, actually. Any chance you've got unique. Oh, you do as well. Okay, your own unique spider pots. Huh. Well, this is intriguing. And any chance... Actually, what's this? This is weird and... Ooh! More geodes for producing some special stuff. And heartstone. I don't know what it is, 
but it feels sufficiently rare, I want to gather it. Because sooner or later, someone's going to be... Oh, my father died so sad that he never got the ten heart stones that he wanted. I know his ghost is haunting me. If only I had ten heart stones. And I can just say here, here you are, job flipping done. And with the help of the Thieves Guild gauntlets, get in here nice and quick. This is probably not going to be worth it. Yeah, nothing really worth it. The glass armor of Major Conjuring looks badass. Just because the blue glow around that color scheme makes it look like Protoss armor. But no, it's not really that good. Let's go down the other little dug out area here. And what do we have in... Oh, we've got something down here. An immolator. Well, we ran into you guys before. You're... Ooh. Okay, maybe you hit a little bit harder than I was expecting, actually. Uh, that's, yeah. Okay, the emulator we ran into previously was not quite that tough. You can still do some good damage to me, alright. Need to be a little bit careful with you lads. Ah, right. This is where the dead were being kept. And mysterious well-lit room beyond it. Is this just a crypt? If it is, this makes me nervous of an ambush. Okay, aha! Right, we can start figuring out what's going on. And there's the... Well, there's the key. Didn't need to bother actually hacking through the rest of it. Ah! Probably part of the reason you just hit me really hard is I bet I forgot to take off the... Yep, yeah, I forgot to take off the gauntlets and put on actually useful gauntlets. Yes. So, we got someone's journal here. What have we got? It's been a month since unearthing the crypt. I haven't seen a spark of life in the general's remains. Grafting the... Well, there's the heartstone. Marvellous. Grafting heartstone to the subject is proving much more difficult than I originally anticipated. I've used almost every method I can think of. Still, there's no sign of reanimation. At this rate, it could be years before I make any progress, which is time I just can't afford right now. If my vengeance is to come to fruition, I need results. If not, I may need to resort to more drastic measures. So that's why the Ash Spawn have got that weird glow around their chest. It's literally a heartstone implanted into them. Fine. And then also, whoever this person is, Ildrina or whatever her name was, right, she's the person responsible for all this, so we have a culprit. So a month or so later, she wakes him up, but he immediately turns on her. Not exactly great progress, but why are you so insistent on bringing this guy back to life? General still unable or unwilling to listen to my commands, acting increasingly paranoid, appears to have free will. What a bastard, eh? I'm beginning to wonder if somebody with a heartstone can be commanded at all. So this is just a different new form of necromancy, but clearly not a particularly reliable one. If my experiments with General Carius fail, I may have to resort to self-experimentation, something I've been avoiding for a long time. Okay. So, there's blatantly more here, and that is Ildari. Okay. Whoever Ildari is, clearly a necromancer. Not nice people, those bloody necromancers. I'm not really a necromancer, by the way. I know I do some necromancy, but really, I do more summoning from hell, and less like bringing the dead back to life. So, really, I'm quite a good necromancer. Right, there's definitely a few up ahead here, and that is... Wait, was that? No. That wasn't actually a trap. Wait, hang on. Is Moira still behind me? No, Moira. Moira. No. Wait. Go away. There we go. <laughs> Nav off, please. Thank you. And shout again. There's a bunch of them around the table, but they're not very perceptive. I should be able to clear a few of them out. Super fast. Actually, I think you might still be under ground, right? Yeah, okay. Uh, so I know where they are. And, ah, you're the general, are you? Okay, can I speak to you? Yes, I can. Uh, no, no, I can't. Or maybe I can. Hello. Are you going? Yeah, you're going for me. Fine, okay. I was kind of hoping that maybe we could have a nice chat. But it's probably not going to work out that way now then, I'm guessing. Uh, in which case, uh, Moira, could you just... Cover my escape, please, while I back out over here. Lovely. Meanwhile, let's get some dragon aspect. Lovely. Now, let's get some nice shouting going on here. Uh, in a second. There we go. That should do some good work to you while you're getting up. Finish off Ash Spawn number one. Uh, let's finish off the Ash Spawns as a priority, please. And 
dead and... Oh, did you... Did you successfully kill all the Moiras? Blimey, well done. Right, number one. And number two. Lovely. Let's get them back out onto the field. This guy is clearly a little bit on the tough side. If you're able to actually take down two Dramora Lords that easily, you're not nothing. Uh, so let's actually, yeah, finish off his helper first. Right, now he should be... Oh, yeah, he's got, he's got flipping tons of health. Marvellous. Uh, right, now... Just bat him in the back of the head, and now we can just start ganging up on the bastard. It's a shame. I'd have liked to have just spoken to him, but actually, if he's here, ah, then Ildari must be in the other building. Finish him off. Lovely. I failed, he says. Have you? Let's see what you got on you. Yeah, there's the key. And the champion's cudgel. Okay. 50% chance for each element of fire, frost, and shock to do 25 points of damage. Does that mean 50-50 you get 75 total, or each of those is coin flipped separately? I'm not sure, but it's kind of cool. But it's also a two-handed weapon that actually feels like it's not that powerful. Actually, 26 base when I've not taken any perks whatsoever pertaining to that. It's not bad, you know. But I'd rather actually keep the Blood Skull Blade just because... Oh, wait, hang on. That's why it's so weak. It's a two-handed weapon, which I should have known because I literally saw it happening because I picked it up with two hands. Right! That's right, it's really flimsy. <laughs> Oops, my mistake. Also, no, tragically, that was not anything useful. Right! What else have we got going on here, then? Nothing too much, to be honest. Yeah, I'll leave the champion's cudgel, but I want to keep this thing in case, like, I need to use it for something. Because I might run into another door that, like, needs to be opened with this. So I better keep this one just in case. Okay. Don't see anything else around here aside from... Okay, there's a door out, which I'm assuming is with the... Oh! That'll lead out to where I just was. Fine. Okay, so actually that's just the back door. There's not a second building. But in which case... Where's Ildari? Okay, interesting. So this leads me up top, to the top of a tower. Honestly, doesn't actually do me much in the way of good. And, yeah. Then this over here lets me just skip down to... I should be able to take this fall. Yeah, easily. Um, that then, presumably, yeah, this key will open up this door and bring me back into the final hall, right? And yes, indeed, this is the final hall again. So, in that case, yeah, no Ildari. Maybe, however, the captain can point me in the right direction. And speak of the devil, he's somewhere around here. Hang on, where are you, my good man? And oh, okay, are you guys okay? Because someone just said he draws near. The master calls. Uh-oh, something's going wrong here. Um, are you okay? Because no one else is. What news do you bring from Fort Frostmoth? Yeah, I've killed General Carriers, but I'm more concerned about Ildari. Does that name mean anything to you? I had my suspicions that he was undead. How else could he have survived for over 200 years? It's a shame. There are quite a few tales of General Carriers' exploits, including the founding of Raven Rock. The founding of Raven Rock? But there's a note from him saying he wants to, like, smash it into the... Okay, fine, whatever. Councillor Morvane told me to give this to you if you made it back in one piece. And you got rid of General Curious. Better than a soldier's pay, so you should be thankful. 10,000 gold! Blimey, anything else you need, by the way? Because for 10,000 gold a job, I will happily do some more stuff. I'm sorry to bother you, but Second Councillor Rano asked me to come find you. He said it's quite urgent. Okay, and do we know details? All he wanted me to do is track you down and send you to him. Look, this is important. Even more important than wiping out the ash spawn. Please, go speak to the second counsellor as soon as possible. Marvellous. Well, in that case, I want at least flipping 15,000. And hello there. Are you currently being like, he draws near? Or are you actually going to be willing to talk to me? Thank you for coming. After everything you've already done for Ravenrock, I hate to ask for more, but I can't risk Councillor Morvane being killed. Right, so for some reason you think the leader of the town's actually under threat of assassination. The Ulan family of House Lalu 
A rival great house has placed a death mark on the councillor's head. Okay, and any particular reason why? It's a private matter. Let's just say they seek revenge for the execution of one of their own, ordered by Councillor Morvane himself. The problem is I don't have any solid proof that anyone from House Lalu is hidden among us. Only my suspicions. Well, it's bloody convenient because the entire town just wandered off talking about, you know, working on the Earthstone or whatever. So everyone's away so I can go through all of their houses. Marvellous. Yeah, your concern's probably justified. I've no evidence of that whatsoever, but I'm going to say it is. It may be justified, but it certainly isn't appreciated. Councillor Morvane simply feels that I'm being paranoid. I'm afraid that one day I'll awaken and discover him dead. And I don't want it to come to that. Okay, come on, what's the actual point here? What did you be to do? I do. I've received some information from my sources that there could be elements of Ulan's house, House Lalu, already in Ravenrock. And you haven't done anything about this because? Ravenrock is a small settlement, so it's hard to accomplish anything in secret. If any of them is from House Lalu, I wouldn't be able to make a move without them knowing. Alright, so you want me to do it, gotcha. I had a feeling you'd be willing to listen to me. And where do I start? I need you to start out by being my eyes and ears. Search Raven Rock and see if you can root out these traitors. The best place to start would be Geldis Sadri, over at the Retching Netch Corner Club. If he provides you any leads, check them out before bringing them to my attention. I can't afford to make any mistakes. Okay. Intriguing. And, yeah, tell me about this house, because I'm guessing, once again, this is Morrowind stuff. Traitors. A lot of them. Their collaboration with the Empire may have given them unrivaled political and economic strength, but their hearts weren't with the Dunma people. Okay, and yeah, they're downfall. Apparently they've downfallen. I don't know, but apparently they have. Lalu deserved every bit of hatred they received once the Empire released its grasp on Morrowind. Having passed ties to the Empire immediately turned them into the scapegoat for the dumb people's suffering. Ah, okay, some past political manoeuvring. Got it. They had welcomed the Empire with open arms and benefited from it. When everything was said and done, they were no longer recognised as a great house and were dismissed from the council. Alright, interesting. And yeah, you mentioned sources. I maintain a few contacts in other Dunma settlements across Tamriel. Most hail from House Redoran, but there are a few from other houses. Okay, and they can't help with this? Most of my contacts live leagues away from Solstein. Sending the occasional message back and forth is all we can manage, and sometimes takes months or more to arrive. However, any information we can glean in times like this, I consider vital to House Redoran's survival. Alright, fair enough. Let's kick off with the bar guy down here. Luckily, he likes me, because I handed out free samples for him. Alright, Geldus, what can you tell me? Well, well. Agile's got himself a spy, does he? Azura knows he needs all the help he can get. He's been chasing the Ulins for years now. Okay, so you don't sound like you're taking this that seriously yourself. No. I just think he's going about this the wrong way. Okay, and what's your idea then? Actually, I do. If you want to catch those slippery slaughter fish, you need to let them come to you. Carry on. There's an Ulan ancestral tomb near the temple. Someone's been leaving ash yam offerings on the altar inside. If you were to wait inside for whomever that is, I'm betting they'll have some of the answers you're looking for. Alright, pretty clever. And also of interest, Geldis can actually potentially give me a bit more information. What's the backstory here? The execution that kicked all this off? Back in 95, Vila Ulan came to Ravenrock with a plan to take over our town. 
But Thatcher thought he could stir up the locals and use them against the Redder and Guard, and then murder Councilman Morvane when we weren't looking. So one guy showed up and tried to do that by himself? He arrived alone, but spread enough coin around to start changing people's minds. Half a bloody town joined his side. Can you believe that? Okay, and how did it end up? He underestimated the Redder and Guard. They were organised and brought a swift end to the coup. Vila tried to run, but he was caught by Captain Velleth himself. Vila Ulan was executed a short time later, and his remains placed in the Ulan Ancestral Tomb. Okay, fair enough. Execution may have been a bit extreme, but at least it's nice to know the backstory. In fact, I'm rather curious why he wouldn't have just told me that in the first place. There's nothing really hidden there, unless there's more to it than what I've been told so far. And this will be what, uh, yeah, these little side rooms that were mentioned, or rather I kind of stumbled into, were for. Fine. So this here, yeah, the Ulan Ancestral Tomb. Marvellous. So I came in here by accident once upon a time. Now I just need to get in here and basically hide until I see somebody putting something on an altar. Potentially, this back here could be an excellent spot to hide in, yes. Question is, uh, do I actually know when it's going to be? Well, let's just, you know, pass a few hours to time and see what happens. Oh. Hello. No, 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 wait. Somebody's here. Here we go, it's about 7am. And it is... I can't see and don't recognise them. Probably best we go invisible, by the way. Right. Invisible and muffled. And it is... Hello. Who are you? Right. We know the secret. Back off. Are you the... Ooh. That's your wife, isn't it? Oh, dear. I'm very, very sorry about this, but uh, it is actually your wife. Uh, right, let's sneak out this way so she doesn't... Oh, so she doesn't see me. Oh, wait, maybe not. Are you the same person I just saw? Because weren't they blonde? I don't know. I'm not sure who it was. Hopefully everyone else does. Hello. I hope Geld has proved useful. No, that wasn't your wife. Um, who was... I don't actually know who Talisi Severin is, but apparently she is. Tell us, Sue. Are you sure? Of course. Well, I saw her there. So Geldus' plan worked, eh? Every time we tried, no one would ever show up. If Telesu's involved in any sort of plot to harm Councillor Morvey, I'm going to need hard evidence to prove it. Well, that's fine. I will go search the house for you, because obviously you won't do it yourself. I'm not kicking down anyone's door until I have solid evidence in hand. If you're wrong about Telesu, things would quickly go downhill around here, and the real couples might slip away. I can't afford for that to happen. You know what? That's fairly justified caution. Just because she is visiting a tomb doesn't mean she's necessarily the traitor. If you have evidence and it places your life in peril, I would expect you to do whatever you must to keep yourself alive. Here, this key should open the front door of the manor in case they've locked it. Good luck. Okay, this is fine. All I can do is, yes, yeah, stay invisible, use calm spells. There's no reason to actually kill anybody here. Tell us who is wife to the family patriarch, Fendel. They have a single child, a daughter named Miri. They arrived here ten years ago and have been nothing but a benefit to Raven Rock ever since. Okay, and how exactly? They are quite wealthy and they've been quite generous by sharing their fortune with the community. They've contributed coin, food, supplies, even helped repair a few of the buildings in town with their own hands. Okay, so nothing unusual at all. People have mentioned it's a bit odd about how close in age Mary appears to be to her father, but that's hardly a cause for alarm. Just make sure you find solid evidence. If I accuse them without it, I'll be the laughing stock of the colony. 
Okay, fair enough. And also, yeah, apparently the mines being open is a really big boon, because various people who I've mentioned this to have been like, oh, it's marvellous, everyone's got money now, hooray, the town is saved, which I was hoping for, but it is kind of odd that, uh, yeah, I didn't actually find any veins of material down there, but apparently they're just mining anyway. So here we are, it looks like, yep, this house at the end here. So, here's what we need. One... Put a fresh muffle on. Two, invisible up. And if I run into trouble, just hit those calm spells. Illusion will keep me safe here. And oh, I'm totally trespassing right now. So just stay flipping calm. And no, not calm, pacify. Use the actual good spell. Pacify. Okay, so just stay invisible. Let's have a little looksy round here. Those people look angry. So let's just stay out of the way. And also, do I actually have a whisper that needs to be set? Right, get round somewhere out of the way here. And once we know we're safe, let's actually have a look, see who's around. And the answer is, looks like literally those two. Fine, there's no one downstairs at the minute. They're just hanging out upstairs and they haven't noticed me yet. Okay. So they've got their own underground weapons forge. Hmm. Right, let's have a little look, see. Open the doors, then immediately go invisible again. Probably what I'm looking for here is chests or similar. Yes. Though books, etc. might be of use to. Uh, nothing I can do anything with yet, okay. Keep on keeping on. I think that might be the daughter's room. Does that look like that was a fairly small single bed there? A uh, nice little... This is a nice little house, actually. Good little place. Okay. If these guys all end up getting executed, I might be interested in buying it. And, oh, that's a mannequin. If it actually... Yeah, this really looks like the sort of buyable house... To be honest, with the number of mannequins and everything that aren't normally around, I suspect I will be able to buy this house later. Keep looking around here. More gold, but nothing... nothing solid yet. Hmm. Interesting. Uh, that's just weapons. That's just a weapon and some... some jewels. That's just skulls. For obvious reasons. I mean, technically, I did see the ash yams here. Like, is that proof? But no, it can't be, because loads of people eat ash yams. The fact that you're growing ash yams doesn't prove a thing. Ah, a safe in the bedroom. Now that's more like it. Okay, so some gold, some bits and pieces. Now, the Ulan matter. Our forces hidden within Ash Fallow Citadel have been training night and day, ready to strike when we give the signal. With Captain Veloth distracted by the Ashborn attacks, the timing seems perfect. I've waited nearly a decade to exact my revenge. Okay, there we go. Lovely. Fine. So next letter you'll receive will include his head in a sack. Cool. Grab that. Immediately leave again. No need to hurt anybody. So now I can just sneak out of there, nobody gets injured, everybody gets a fair trial with some nice incriminating evidence. This has been done nice and subtle-like. Where are you two? You're both... you're both way over there, you'll never see me in time. Bye! So, now we just put my own hands away and back over to the counsellor. Did you find any evidence at Severin Manor yet? Good news, Adril. Here's all the evidence you're ever going to need. Then we finally have them. All that remains now is chasing them down and bringing them to justice. And I'm not sure they're going to give up, because, yeah, there's talk of an army at Ash Fallow Citadel. Good. I was concerned about our food I'm going to send two of the best Reroran guard we have to take them down. I want you to assist them any way you can. Okay, fair enough. See that you do. Sorry. We can't afford to let these traitors I slip away. Alright, lovely. So meet up with those guys. Are we going to the manor or are we going to Ash Fallow? I'm not sure. Ah, apparently Ash Fallow is way the flip over there. Okay, um... Well, I can head in that direction, but I don't want to go there just right this second. I will make my way over there. <laughs> 
in a long loop, sooner or later, I absolutely will, but there's a few other things I want to take care of first. Like, for example, I don't want to, like, you know, skirt around the map and miss things out, otherwise I'll forget about stuff. So, I want to nip back to the farm first, because there's a dungeon right flipping here I want to clear out. And there's one very important reason for that, and that is any dungeon can evolve- Ooh! Hello! Who are you guys? Oh, are you just hunters? I think you're just hunters, right? We have come south to test our worth against the mighty Netch. Will you join us? Um, yeah! Sure, why not? I mean, I think I need to get some Netch jelly for someone, so go on then. Well met, friend. May we all fight, or die well. Okay, um, so you're gonna attack that Netch. And once you attack it, what does it actually do? It just kind of it pokes you, does it? <laughs> I don't like it. It, it. It's got tentacles, and it's gross, and it's like a jellyfish, and I don't like it at all. Right, I guess I'll just get behind it then, so get over there. It is a bull netch. Oh, it's not that good. Oh, yeah, it's a bit flimsy, to be honest. Oh, I don't like being poked by it, though. Ew. Ew, 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 it's gross. Don't like it. Uh, I'll take the jelly, because I think I need to collect that for... Yeah, I need five of those for the alchemist in town. Are you guys cool with me? We will honour and sing praises for the fallen. As will I, but I will also be doing some looting, for that is the tradition of my people. Okay, so he's got his own unique cool skull stuff here. Naturally, you know what, armor 49 is not even that terrible for completely unimproved. Now, back to plan A. I want to say back to plan A, there's also an ash hopper. Okay. Whatever one of you is, I'm guessing you have, uh, yeah, actual stuff we can probably cook, presumably. But let's just loop up here and find ourselves a dungeon. Because any dungeon could contain a black book, of which there are apparently quite a few. So I'm quite looking forward to that, because this island doesn't seem that big. So, like, you know, basically any dungeon has a pretty good chance of containing a black book. And the... Oh. Hello. This is not what I was expecting. I mean, you cool? Just leave me be. Right. What exactly is wrong with you? With me? What's the matter with you? Sorry, I've just had a lot of hawk face cowards coming by to mock my efforts. Uh, it probably can't hurt to tell you. You look mostly honest. I'm really not. The name's Rallis. Rallis Sidaris, out of Morhold. I've got a financier waiting for me back on the mainland. Sent me here in the interests of obtaining some rare antiquities. The relics of Arzador. But this whole thing became a disaster right quick, let me tell you. Okay, and I'm guessing this is somehow connected to the fact that you're currently just randomly hammering the ground. You come out of the northern ashlands, you don't expect things to go easy, you know. But this was something outside my particular expertise. When I first got to Colbjorn, you couldn't even see it. Buried in the ash, like most other things on this blasted island. Dug out a pile of the stuff taller than me just to find the barrel. Who knows how much to reach the door. Excavating isn't exactly my specialty. Even if it was, the ash storms fill it in faster than Okay, so yeah, there's other miners you could hire. You think I've got that kind of money? No, I only get paid on delivery. Can't afford to go in pocket for a thousand septums on this. Takes money to make money, all that rot. There's a lot of it at the other end. But I can't get there without a little kick to start it off. Ooh. Okay. Fund the excavation. I could do that. I've got a giant pile of money, but I want to know more about the treasure first. You ever hear of Azador? He was the first great Nord enchanter, maybe even the first human to master elven methods. His best work was buried with him, though. A set that my patron calls... The relics 
are supposed to be down in his tomb. Now, they're old, and they're powerful. A combination like that makes them pretty valuable to certain people. And I happen to know certain people. Okay, well I've got some money, but I want to be a proper partner in this. What? Are you... Are you serious? Well, I think I could make that work. We can sort out the details of our little arrangement later. But for now, I'll manage the dig if you can manage the coin. Do you have the gold? Oh, I'm sorry. We'll manage the details later. You just want the money up front before we actually discuss any arrangement for what I get from it. Yeah, great deal for me. But go on then. People did say make sure you bring a bit of gold with you. I brought a bit of gold with me specially. Here you go. A thousand gold. But I'm guessing you're going to need more down the line. Mm, it's all here. Well then. Looks like I have a good bit of work to start on. I'll head back to Raven Rock and round up some diggers. Once we've got something worth looking at, I'll send word to you. Pleasure doing business with you, partner. I'll see you soon. Well, worst case scenario, he digs this up and then betrays me. And by the way, could I have the... Ooh. Volume 19 of your journal. Okay, intriguing. Nothing much here. Let's just leave that there. No reason to steal his diary. Okay. So, we can come back to that later. In the meantime, yeah, we've got... No, that's not the same tower I'm going towards. What I want to do now is, yeah, head for this tower over here, and then probably loop south to the giant mushrooms. Because I kind of want to see the giant mushrooms today. <laughs> the giant mushrooms seem pretty damn badass. And then, oh, hello? Hello, we've got... Oh, are you a different kind of spriggan? Oh, a burnt spriggan! Oh, that's kind of cool. How hard do you hit? Not that hard, so that's a shame for you. Including burnt sprig and wood. I'm gonna eat that. Apparently that makes you weak to fire, marvellous. That's kind of cool. Spriggans become burnt spriggans if they actually get caught in a big forest fire. Oh. Is that the same thing I saw before? Is that a pyromancer taking on a cryomancer? I'm guessing it is. Apparently, yes indeed, in this part of the world, these two people just like chilling out together and just trying to kill each other. A lot. Right, those two finished off again. Let's just keep heading up here. That's just some, um, yeah, creep clusters. Nothing major. So, there should be a big tower we're coming up on here. Actually, weirdly, there's a tower here that doesn't count for anything. And there's, oh, something around here. Is that going to be like a reaver or... Oh. Hello. Something bad around here. I'm kind of coming at it from above. High point tower. Which oddly isn't on the high point. Because that logically would be high point tower. But the game's acting like... Um. Are you sure this is... Oh. That'll probably be an ash spawn then. Lovely. Uh, well, I'm guessing this is high point tower. So I guess I'm going to go explore it, because it's like on the high point and all. You know, sorry to be like traditional about this, but this is the highest point. Ah, wait. Okay. It would appear that high point tower is, well, one, there's ash spawn all over it, but that's fine. We can kill you before you can do anything. There's actually, ah, you can't get into the tower from above. You've got to go in from below, except, hmm, all ashed up. If I had to guess, I'd probably say there's a reasonable chance that my friend who I just gave a thousand to will be back later saying, oh, I need another five thousand to excavate that, because that feels like that's blocked up, for now at least, but hopefully won't be forever. Right! Well, in that case, let's actually start veering. That's probably another burnt spriggany thing. I think I saw one of them around here. Yep, thought so. Right, you finish off that guy. I am instead going to try and get round. Yeah, I'm going mushroom hunting. I want to go and find the giant mushroom. 
It's a giant mushroom. That's so flipping cool. Unless, of course, it turns out to be a giant jellyfish disguised as a giant mushroom. Is that another cocky cryomancer or whatever? Seriously, will you guys just naff off? I am not the sort of person you want to take on with magic. I promise. Oh, you're just a random Argonian. Okay. Just a random Argonian standing out here in the middle of nowhere just... Yeah, trying to shoot people with magic. Didn't work out well for you. Actually, you had an ebony shield. That's an odd thing for a mage to be holding. Oh yeah, there's a super awesome special giant mushroom symbol I've never seen on the map before. Oh, I'm so up for this. Welcome to... Oh. Oh, are those like giant rooted netch? Is that a thing netch do? Because if so, I'm, I'm slightly creeped out now and I'm less enthusiastic about this whole area. Is that actually what that is? Is it a giant netch that's actually still sort of moving? Is that how they work? Do they float around until they eventually root? Because I feel like that's... Yeah, I feel like that's what that is and I don't like it. Oh, no, no, I'm actually keeping my distance because genuinely I just actually shuddered because I, I genuinely don't like things that are like jellyfish-ish. And that's kind of what that... Oh, hang on. Is that a house? Is this actually a flipping mush? Oh, this might be tell whatever it is that was mentioned to me. Someone mentioned tell something to me. A town to the east. I haven't found it yet. So that would also make sense because clearly over there, there's another one of those pedestals. So probably the one of... We've got earth or water. So either air or fire, presumably, right? Because you'd build them next to towns because then you've got the workers. Uh, sun. Okay, that's close enough to... Uh, Close enough to fire. Yeah. You build them close by to town. Because, ooh. Oh, my goodness. A flooded Dwemer ruin at sea. Oh, that's so cool. That's so flipping cool. And same deal again. So, I could pray at them. But all that happens is I just get controlled. Let's just double check nothing new happens. So, I'm willing to work for you. Yeah, same thing again. I find myself taken over for a minute, but I can break free. For I am the Dragonborn and I am mighty. So, this is presumably a town. A town built into, like, jellyfish and mushrooms. Which doesn't strike me as, like, desperately stable foundations for a town. But here we go. Hello. What's going on here? Because this is weird. I don't like it. From that look on your face... I'm guessing you've never seen a silt strider before. No, they're weird and I don't like them. This is Dusty. I personally trained her from a lava. Feels like a lifetime ago now. She hasn't been in travelling condition for quite a while now. I've tried to let it go off on her own, but she insists on staying here. Oh my goodness, you've just got a pet whatever one of these is. We get bar trade nods and ends with the locals. I've decided to stay here and make sure she passes in peace. It's the least I can do for her. Every once in a while, a local makes it out here. Although they usually just want to catch a glimpse of Dusty. Silk striders are pretty rare now. Okay, I like you if you're willing to hang around just to make sure she passes peacefully with the human, or I suppose like elf that she loves. What would you like to know? Yeah, tell me about these things. These are cool. Mostly for transporting goods and people. They were pretty commonplace in Morrowind, but that was ages ago. A silk strider carapace is so strong, it can withstand the harshest of weather. Even the legendary sandstorms of Vardenfell's Molag Armor region were said to barely make a dent in them. Of course, that's all ash now. Alright, and yeah, what made them so rare if they're pretty much indestructible? The blasts from the volcano wiped most of them out. Found Dusty in a small cave on Vardenfell. Silk Strider cocoons are pretty tough. Oh, that's very sweet. And I can actually, like, go out onto her back. And yeah, you've got a flipping carpet down. And I guess you drive her by pulling on the tendrils, which is... Ew, that's that... No, I don't like it anymore. Alright, I like the fact that you treat her well, but I don't actually like her herself. Sorry. Uh, right. So, I mean, I think this is a town. I mean, there must be a town somewhere around here. Unless, of course, the town's built into the Duema ruins or something. Because these people are coming from somewhere. 
But that all? Yep, somebody lives here. It's a giant cocking mushroom. That's really cool. That's so damn cool. Right. Hello, anyone want to say hello to me? This is yes, so... Oh. Aren't you supposed to be in the system that's summoning now? work? If you must know, I am trying to get this Ash Guardian spell to work. Now let me concentrate. Besides, shouldn't you be worrying about the damage to the tower? Master Nelloc has tasked Alenia with repairing the tower. Why aren't you doing this in the lab, where it would be safer for all of us? The, uh, the lab is too small. Also, I need the ashy sword. Master Neloth knows what I'm doing. No need to bother him about it, though. He's quite busy at the moment. It's on your head if something goes wrong. Just let me... No Ash Guardian. Maybe the book has something. We don't get many visitors. Is there something you need? Yeah, tell me about your giant awesome mushroom town. Tell Mithrin. It's the home of Master Neloth. You may have heard of him. He's a famous Telvanni wizard. Okay, and he lives in a giant mushroom. In Morrowind, the Telvanni grow okay, buildings from special fungus spores. Master Neloth grew one here to be his home. Don't ask me how. Okay, and you're an apprentice? No, Talvis is his apprentice. I'm his steward. I manage the day-to-day -day affairs of Telmithrin. Now, if you'll excuse me. Okay, anything else I can Speak. get from you? Yes, who else is here aside from you two? Talvis is Master Neloth's apprentice. If you're interested in spells, he might be willing to sell you some. Elenya is our alchemist. She specializes in mushrooms and other types of fungus. Ulfs runs the kitchens. Alright, so only five of you then. So we run into you, and if you are wanting to get good at summoning, good news, I'm a master summoner. I don't think you belong here. Does Master Neloth know about you? Yeah, tell me about the Heartstones, because I have my theories about roughly how they work, based on what I saw from Ilvari, or Il no, Ildari, but I don't know for certain. Heartstones are only found on Solstheim, as far as I know. Master Neloth believes they may be fragments from inside Red Mountain that were flung here during the huge eruption 200 years ago. Well, that's a terrible theory, because then they wouldn't be just here. They'd be scattered throughout any area where the ash landed. So that's the stupidest theory imaginable. Yes, I'm trying to summon an ash guardian. I'm just having trouble deciphering Master Neloth's handwriting. I, I don't mean to be rude, but I need to concentrate. I could 100% help. I'm really, really good at summoning. Hmm. And yeah, tell me what this place is from your point of view. This is Master Neloth's tower. He's a Telvanni wizard. And yeah, actually tell me what that is, because the other woman didn't explain. You've never heard of the Great Houses of Morrowind? House Telvanni is the house of the Master Wizard, one of the ruling houses of Morrowind. Master Neloth is one of the oldest and most respected members of House Telvanni. Okay, and you're his apprentice. Not so much with... as for. I am Master Neloth's apprentice. He's teaching me the art of sorcery. Alright, and... Yeah, what's your view on him? Um, well, he is a very great wizard. It's a great honor for him to have taken me as his apprentice. To be honest, it's horrible. He's very unpleasant and hardly teaches me anything. Sometimes he uses me in his experiments. Even so, I pick up a lot from just watching him. I like the sound of this guy already. I'm going to go introduce myself. So, this here is just the... Ah, this is... Ooh. This is kind of creepy, actually. So, you're the apothecary person. I don't care if he's a master wizard. He can't treat me like this. Right, so everyone hates him then. Got it. That fetcher told me to fix his house. If I don't, he'll find a new mycologist who will. Decades of loyal service. And he'd just throw me out like yesterday's breakfast. Okay, and I'm guessing you need me to fetch something for you. Three taproots soaked in the headwaters of the Harstrad River. I'm an old woman. I can't possibly make that trip. It's way too dangerous. If you get some taproots, I'll pay you to dip them in the headwaters and bring them to me. Okay. Lovely. And where would I get the taproots? Because I killed one of those bird spriggans. They didn't have any on them. Where do you think? You have to cut it out of a spriggan. Although sometimes you can buy them from alchemists. 
If you've actually got one for sale, I'm going to be so annoyed at you. Thankfully, she does not. There are bound to be some there, so be careful. Ah, and one of these will be of information, so the Harstrad headwaters apparently are full of Spriggans, so that's a good place to pick up what she needs. Okay, I think I'll help her out, sure, but I want to meet the wizard first. Ah, slight problem, she hasn't marked it on my map, because it's not actually the objective until I've got the tap roots, but the tap roots will be easiest to get from there, so that's just flipping marvellous, well done. And one of the other buildings is indeed the kitchen. Hello there, Olvez. I'd better tell Verona to bring apples and cabbage from Raven Rock. And he doesn't want to speak to me at all. Fine. And oh, I've just stepped inside and I need to float up. Right. Okay, that's badass. You are very good at this sort of thing. Though admittedly, uh, your mushroom looks a little bit on the sick side. Hello, I really like you already. I don't recall inviting you into my tower. I do hope you make this worth my while. Oh my goodness, he even looks like a flipping supervillain. He's marvellous. This is a Talvani tower. It's my citadel, grown from the spores of the giant fungus trees found in Morrowind. Back in the homeland, there are other Talvani wizards that have them as well. Alright, so yes, I've heard of that, admittedly only five minutes ago from your apprentice, but you don't need to know that. Of course you have. Everyone has heard of the Master Wizards of Morrowind. We are one of the great houses that rule Morrowind. And bloody conveniently, I actually happen to be the Archmage of Winterhold, and thus presumably the most powerful magic user in all of Skyrim. So how about me and you swap secrets? Winterhold? That small college that is falling into the Sea of Ghosts? You're the one that recovered the Staff of Magnus. Impressive. Talvis should finish his apprenticeship in a couple of decades. Come see me then. I think I could teach you a trick or two. Okay. Very cool indeed. And um, what else do we have floating around here? Because you've got an awesome little place to hang out in there. Yep, some enchanter stuff. Your own arcane enchanter. This is presumably where you... Oh dear. Right. I think the Master Wizard might have a bit of a drinking problem, actually. Yes. <laughs> Pretty clearly so, indeed. Also, apparently he needs two arcane enchanters facing each other. So we can enchant two things at once. Now that, that's a clever trick. And also, here's interesting... A whole bunch of Dwemer stuff. So I imagine he is interested in that. Ooh. Okay. Well, this is very interesting. A mysterious thing. I don't know what that thing is. What's this thing? I wonder if a dragon could be captured alive. It would make a fascinating test subject. Well, fun fact, I've actually already done that. Uh, so, you know... I'm pretty badass myself. Right, you think someone is out to get you. I've no idea why I'd say that, but apparently, like, that's just the thing I can ask you. I don't know, but I mean to find out. I still have some research to do before I'll know anything for certain. Okay, and I'd be very interested in helping you with that research, because there's a mysterious thing I've never seen before in your room, and I'd like to get access to it. Hmm. I do have a new spell I'm working on. I hope to be able to conjure Ash Spawn. If I could get a sample of Ash from an Ash Spawn, that would be quite useful. I've made this special tool that will extract... Well, you don't need to know the details. Just go harvest a sample. Of course, the creature will have to be dead first, but I trust that's something you can bring about. Okay, absolutely fine, yes, and any chance you've got something good for sale, because, yeah, weapons just, ooh, oh wow, okay, so if you need a staff, this guy has got a unenchanted destruction staff, that's an interesting idea, so I'm assuming that means I could make my own destruction staff if I wanted to. So take that new unenchanted staff over to your enchanting table. And yeah, I've never seen an unenchanted staff before, and weirdly I can't enchant it. 
Okay, that's... This is all very weird. So right now it can't do anything, presumably. Because there's no... There's no enchantment on it. But I can't put an enchantment on it. I'm guessing that might be something he needs to teach me how to do then. Or maybe I don't know any enchantments that I could put on it. Interesting. Interesting, interesting, interesting. I might just, like, leave that here and pick it up later. Well, there's ash spawn all over the place, so go on then. Let's go actually get one of them for him. Because <laughs> he's cool and his house is cool and I want to make friends with him. Because <laughs> me and him, I think we could get on nicely. Ooh, bloody convenient. You've got to help me. I conjured an ash guardian and now it's running amok. Well, I happen to be looking for one of those, so that's just marvellous. Thank you. I was hoping you would. Hurry, I'll keep Master Neloth distracted. Right, one Ash Guardian needs to go down, and bloop, and bloop two, and then get around the back of it, and start murdering it. And it does just seem to be running away, but oh, blimey. Oh, it's got no health. Oh, you poor thing, I'm sorry, this is just bullying. So, search it, and apparently I can't, oh. Did I have to use the tool you just gave me? Is that what that was? Hang on, how did that work? Ash extractor. Yeah. Okay. Needs to be an actual ash spawn, I guess. Fine. That's that's a shame. Right. Well, I know where I can find plenty of them because I just cleared a whole bunch out of... There we are, Fort Frostmoth. There must be a few of the corpses still there. Yep. Absolutely spot on. There's loads of them. So, extract the ash. Job done. So, that's all I need. Let's head straight back to him. So, float on up and two bits of progress here, because I can tell the apprentice I killed the thing, and I can give him the... There he is, good, I was wondering if he just disappeared there. Have you destroyed the Ash Guardian yet? Master Neloth will kill me, or worse, if he finds out. Yep, already taken care of, it's fine. What a relief. Master Neloth surely would have punished me had he found out. I can't pay you, but I could teach you the Ash Guardian spell. Although, maybe that doesn't sound like a good idea to you after this. I do have a staff I could give you instead. If you think the Ash Guardian spell is too risky. Oh no, I think I can handle it, thanks. Alright. But remember, don't cast this without a heart stone. Otherwise, the Guardian will attack everyone, including you. Honestly, I think I can deal with that as well. If I just throw it forward, it's fine. Got it, don't cast without heart stone. That's right. Don't be like me and have to learn the hard way. Here's the spell tome and a heart stone so you can try it safely. All right, job done. Marvellous. But yeah, what went wrong with it? Well, I'm guessing it. she didn't have a heart stone. No, oh, it turns out that the spell requires a heart stone to cast properly. Yep, thought so. Lovely. Let's just move on. Right, on to you. I've also got the extracted ash for you. And you're serious. I love your armor. I want your armor. Have you seen Verona? I'm hungry. I'm not sure she's the person that works in the kitchen, isn't that Olves? But anyway, here's the thing. Well done. Here are some septums for your troubles. If you come back in a day or two, I should have the spell worked out. You can buy it from Talvis. All right, job done. And... Okay. I was kind of hoping you'd give me more to do, to be honest. Yeah. Um, wait, which one's Verona? Is that your steward? Well, find her. Tell her I want apple cabbage stew. With some canis root tea. All right, of course, Master. I will gladly do that for you. Finally. Someone who recognizes my importance around here. Okay, and yeah, where's everyone else exactly? They are off working on their pillar. Happens every night. Ah, uh, yes, of course. The mysterious pillar of Mirac. Make them stop. Oh, no, certainly not. At least not yet. Not until I've figured out what is going on. Imagine the power of being able to command entire villages to do your bidding. Imagine what I could do with that power. I love Master Nelov so much. So all of a sudden, now I'm looking for Verona. Where exactly is she? And also, apparently now you're a companion. Marvellous. Not recently. Neloth keeps me very busy with spell research. Ask Alenia. She and Verona seem to be quite friendly. Okay, so now we've got a mysterious missing person and... Yeah. 
still this thing that needs to be opened. So, you know what, ladies and gentlemen? I'd say let's call it a part there, but we have a couple of, uh, yeah, ongoing mysterious quests here. I've invested a thousand gold in an archaeological expedition, which is very, very cool indeed, which presumably at some point will come good. And also, for here, there is a mysterious room with a mysterious sort of weird heartstone enchanter thing I have never seen before. And actually, ooh, that big fat book. Is that one of the black books? Because that looks like a black book to me because it's much bigger and fatter than most books. So... Me and this guy need to become better friends than we already are. And I do like him quite a flipping lot. So, we will pick that up next time as well as all of the exciting rooms I need to go to. I need to go to Ashfall Citadel. I need to actually go and, like, you know, find Merak and all of that. I haven't even bothered starting off the main quest yet. There is a dwarven ruin sunken into the sea, so I'm totally going there. Oh, I'm enjoying this. This is really exciting. Lots of new stuff in Skyrim I've never seen before. It's really, really cool indeed. So, we will crack on next time. But in the meantime, I've been John. This has been many a true nerd. This has been Skyrim. Thank you very much, and goodbye. No, sadly, I cannot be the Santa Claus of murder tonight. So apparently, even though this thing is... Oh, no, no, you can't. No, you most certainly can't. Okay. Is that the symbol meaning I'm about to pull her over? Yep, there we are. There we... Oh! I feel like she didn't necessarily survive that. No, she's very dead.